nice factory pins we're replacing this slightly dodgy and bodgy pin it has no end on it and uh, this only thing original about that is the bracket and of course the chain was broken off it so i just put a little bit of uh, nut and bolt through it and a bit of modern chain so they're grand but they're going to be going into my spares clips and a sort of few box of all little bits of pieces or clips and stuff so that should go in there so we can start tidying this up a little more and uh, yeah because there's a lot of white primer on it get rid of that Rust iron oxide it there and um, give it a little bit of a paint also managed to get a few more Ferguson brackets that's off the TVO that holds the goes around the term or the term was it the temperature gauge sender the kind of wire the, the wire for that that's nice to have because they're kind of a soft aluminium and they do crack Ferguson 20 diesel it holds a spring going onto the throttle Ferguson 20 as well on the diesels I think go off the steering box I never really worked out what they were for but they are there the more modern one from a check chain no harm and a nice little bracket here for wires I'm all the time looking for them because they really do tidy things up and it's a lot nicer looking at one of them than the cable tie so on the rear wheel I have piles of them but still and this is another original pin so you can see in there is where that chain would have went around so the chain itself is just sitting in a bit of rust primer there so you may as well paint it so just paint it so now we can sort out some of this stuff and see if we can use it on the tractor in other places maybe down at the lift arms or something like that so anyway we we keep all these brackets as you've probably seen in some of my other videos they do come in very handy when you're trying to do a nice factory kind of a job in fact oem as to say that thing we have a little tray of them there as well so all to do with the furnaces so one part you can't buy new Ferguson 20 diesel is this throttle venturi so a lot of people you know find that they're worn there and on the inside here and they suck air and then it affects the that's fair enough worn like it's bad but at least you know it's a mom piece and it can be bushed i got them bushed before on the one of my furs and it's nice to have a throttle on as well because you can't buy them new either i've had to make them it's a nice little piece and it seems to be fairly well together this wouldn't be original i don't think but i do have some spare ones of them but if you also watch some of my videos on the gold belly i was looking for some original host lamps that were in this style so we've gained two so hopefully they'll be usable they will be used if they are so yeah this is definitely a part that i can hit with the wire brush clean it up strip it down take everything i want off it see the more modern um heater plug and that and what came with that i also bought is a kai gas tank just to have it and instead of just going to the kai gas plunger that was plumbed straight onto that more modern heater plug and when that was on for a while it would open up and allow fuel through it through the element burn suck in the flame jobs job also so look i was buying a lot of things off and so it was thrown in nice to have it's not exactly what i'd call old i don't think i think it's a newer one but still all the same it's nice to have so the inlet manifold i have plenty of these have more of them in the shelf as well and the drawer so i'm just playing around with this um throttle venturi i will take it off it's pretty worn i have another spare one there somewhere i think up there good tight one <coughs> always good to have a spare one in case you break them i'll take that off um, and uh, i might strip it down one of the days and get it ready for bushing so this came off and that's interesting because i never really see them on that usually what you see is these lads here so it's interesting it can be used and it has the right thread so it goes into my little box of special parts and we've gained two of these so i did try earlier because i have some new ones and the goal is to try and get them fitted on there rather than these shiny ones so we'll see if they fit next time that's off so i 
do have newer ones here. These are just a little bit too small. And these are probably too big. But uh, we can at least we can at least try them. That's the place for them anyway. So nice to have them. So we'll be able to start going through a few more parts now as well in the box. So some of these are uh, I know I've fitted two new two new ones of these, to, uh, one to each of my Ferguson 20 diesels and they never lined up. I had to go filing and widening and every sort of a thing and I need this fitting for that Ferguson 20 because it's missing. So it's nice to have all that. It's probably going to be a bit fun all off but we'll leave it soaking I think it's actually fairly good it's a bit gone there but still has enough of a lip there to seal I would imagine it seemed to be cracked it's only that gasket so I'd say that might just be usable again if someone was stuck for it yeah not too bad so a nice original part that I've got one for Ferguson 20 as well. Again, these are often cracked there and there and they're usually really badly out of shape. It's very easy to flatten them. And the, the likes of have this board in the back there, the green paper. So that's... And some nice governor parts there as well. If I was stuck or lo uh, lost them. And I just see there as well a nice original hose. Like a double E there at the host clip, so we'll try and get him off as well and keep him. It's be nice to uh, oh, there's an old style uh, thermostat in there, very old style. I must take that out and uh, Smith's that'll make a nice showpiece on the wall. Smith's, so and, uh, the one from the gold belly is uh, here somewhere as well. There it is, there. So yeah, that's definitely going to be another little thing I'm going to enjoy doing. And uh, might SM, Standard Motor Company maybe, or yeah, give them a bit of a clean up, strip all the parts off. They're nice brackets to have, never lose them or look from, or if I break them. And uh, yeah, enjoyable stuff. You know, all these little specialist brackets and stuff, it's hard to find them. Definitely harder if you actually need them or stuck for them. So, because I have the gold belly there, and I'm always hopefully going to have a TVO engine or a petrol engine Ferguson here. You could easily be stuck for these parts. And, uh, it's better, uh, Looking at them than looking for them. That just seems to be grabbing that U bolt a little bit there. I'll loosen it off a little bit and see. Definitely is part, I'm fairly sure, is not for sale. You any more anyway. Feeling you be any chances would be going to the likes of a tractor parts breaker. Seems to be loose. It's just a bit of build up of rust, maybe it's made it wider. Lovely quality. That look, maybe we'll take off the, the nuts all together. So this is the Ferguson 20, but it's the same as the Ferguson 35 behind me there. It's nice to have all of these in case break anything or lose something. That should come off there. Now, and we also have that very important bit there at the end. 
Okay, off with the spring. And then we'll put that all back together. And that is one for keeping. Because where are you going to get one of them when you need it? That could be awkward enough taking them off. Well, that's interesting. There's two holes in that. Very interesting. Is that right? Or is someone trying to alter the, the governor? I know one thing, it's very nice to have that spring and flue. So that shaft was cut there, that's the throttle shaft. The throttle rod, whatever you want to call it. So I may as well just pop that down through because we don't need them, he's, he's broke. Slowly getting down to another usable parts here. So this might have been from a petrol tractor because the, the, most of the TVOs, well all of them came from the factory with a temperature sender in there and that would have uh, let you know when it was hot enough then to change the TVO. So I'm going to try and salvage the hose clips, especially this original one and uh, see how we get on with that. It's an aluminium part so I do want to be careful. So look, for the sake of a second of just putting something in there. Stop to minimise the damage anyway. Yeah. Might as well. Could be looking for one that size at some point, especially considering it's on a tractor on it that came off an engine. Same as the one that's in the gold belly for the vat. It's worth keeping it. Not original or anything like that, but again, it could be stuck at some point. I don't care about the hose pipe for now because I don't plan on using this. Thermosalisms, it won't fit the gold belly. They are different there compared to the prices. Yeah, I do want to try and salvage this lad. We'll see what condition he's in now, if he's happy to come with it, come off. A lot of the time you need to get your hacksaw blade at them. Get the slit in them, get the slot in them there a little bit deeper. screwdriver starts widening up. If I get it moving at all, I can cut off the end because there's a lot of tread there. And then at least that's where it's going to be really rusty. So what I might do, I hate to use it, but I might put the vice grips on, on the end because we have a load of tread at the end here. And that's going to be the rustiest. And that's going to cause the biggest problems. So I can cut off whatever I damage here at the end. Just to get it moving, if it is going to move at all. Right. 
sometimes slotting them is just too far gone. So we'll definitely try and see if we can salvage it. If we get it loosened out a bit, we should be able to work on that slot a bit. So anyway, look, that's boring enough watching that, so <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll come back when I, uh, if I'm able to salvage it. Yeah, I've managed to salvage it now. Damaged a bit on the end of it, all right there, but sure, what about it? Tied it up the slot a little bit. And I have a feeling, if you remember earlier on in the video series on the gold belly, that that actually might just be, because this is slightly smaller than that, I have a feeling that might do there. In which case, we'll, we'll slowly be... Um, we're turning our gold belly to just you know a little bit more correct so we'll keep that since it is smaller than the one for the intake manifold so yes we might just have enough to get that little detail correct on the gold belly so we're getting these bolts out and uh, be able to get a look in then other terms that See what it look, looks like an old one, factory one. Smiths. Don't know if they use Smiths gauges on these tracks. Or not. So it doesn't matter if the treads aren't great in the aluminium casting because at this stage of the game, you just put a nut and bolt through it. There's probably room in there for a nut if you had to put one in. Yeah, so this is actually in very good condition. I have to give it to it now, yeah. Not too bad. There's your old thermostat. This will definitely look good on the wall somewhere. If we can get it out, I'm sure we can. Looks like it's in here a bloody long time. Yeah, it's a really good cast and some really good nick. Imagine it was still working, huh? So be careful here now. Yeah, we're better off tapping it. Down from in there. Very careful. Not that it's going to be used again. Just the fact that it's such an original piece. So I'll get a little punch and just slowly try and tap it out with the least amount of damage as possible. Brilliant. Okay, let's give it a bit of a clean up. See what we can read on this stuff. Okay, let's get you to focus. Smiths. Smith's Motor Accessories Limited England. Smith's Motor Accessories Limited England. And that's something else. Let's just see if the other one is Smith's. The one I took out of the gold belly. Yeah, so this these look to, these look to be the original Smith's motor etc. 
Accessories England. Part number down there. So that's brass. That's brass as well. Cool. Yeah. I think we'll definitely. Now that I know there's so much brass, and I might actually clean it up under the days, and uh, yeah, just cool. Bygone era, huh? A bygone era. And I can sit there till I do it, till I clean it up. So in the meantime, we have got a nice thermostat housing outlet. Let's see the bolt. Uh, yeah. Very good, Nick. All gasket surfaces there and flanges are very good. I'm very happy with that. And uh, the treads look good and clean as well down there. So it's coarse tread. That bolt was definitely cut at some point, I'd say. It's not the greatest looking now, to be honest with you. Why was probably fighting it coming out. That one looks to have been cut as well. well I definitely have re replacements for the better bolts, but they weren't causing any issues. So that is ready for a clean up. Has the bone in it, the brass bone there for cut for uh, closing off the temp temperature sender wire. That's a very uh, nice part. I'm very happy with that. And I'm very happy with that as well. I can just cut off that bit of pipe and. Yeah, cast iron, lovely. It is a gasket on it there, but I have a feeling that wouldn't take much to uh, make that perfect. So I'm going to call it an evening there now, get through the parts slowly. We still have to go through the Ferguson 20 diesel. Turn this up, get all the bits off that I want. I have another rocker shaft there as well. And uh, we can see then if we want to do something with that pin as well. And then of course we have the cylinder head and the cylinder block that has to be stripped down. Lovely, this can go into the parts washer. There's one more part that I'm very happy with. Really good gold belly radiator. And this thing is in first class condition, in fairness to it. So I'll put the phone down for a second. I'm gonna lift it down. I'm gonna take a look. All the pipes look really good, really solid. Repaired by Cirque Era Limited, Rings End Road, Dublin. There you go. Wow. Yeah, the pipes look really good. The whole lot's really solid. Everything's in the right place. Has the bracket there as well, the stay bar, overflow pipe. Has another little. As he as he knocks something down, I have to clean that up on one of the next videos and have a look and see what it says. But uh, has even has to drain the tap in it there, so that is a really good part to have um, on the shelf. We'll say if I ever need it to have it because it's specific to the gold belly. So I'm very happy with that.